Bye. Go Moose. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
like tactical flashlights. Yeah. yeah. That's why you ever notice I buy twenty dollar flashlights? It's because I lose them in walls. I had a really nice flashlight. I was really happy with that. If you happen to live in Kalamazoo at 412 Stanwood, um, right next to the chimney, you want to go from the attic, but right next to the chimney, look down the hole in the attic. And there are several flashlights down there. Most of them are cheap, regular old uh, mini mags. There's like three or four of those damn things down there. But there's one really good, really good flashlight down that hole. You can have it. Enjoy. And by the way, take care of the trains. I built those. What the hell else? Why am I even here? Why am I here? I'm losing my goddamn mind. I just, man, I, there. 2013 hours. What you got, Bill? I got the first prototype camera installed. Where's it at? Oh, it's up there. It's up there, yeah. It's clamped to the top of the rack. Okay. Uh, with my wonderful wood clamp. Anyways, it's clamped so it won't. Because it actually, the motors in there have a little bit of torque. they okay. spin that guy right off the top. Okay. Anyways, so it's clamped in place, but you can see with the image. And it's wired in. Now, is the weather cam gone? Or? The weather cam's still online. In fact, that image can't be seen by the outside world. Okay. So before I leave, I'm going to switch it back to the weather cam. Okay. But this is this is so Rocco and uh, Madman Mark and there's one more T. Rolly, T. Raleigh, T. Trevor. Trevor. Okay. That's it. Uh, so they can start doing that. This is all so they can do their okay. next step. They've Can we this just feed this in to master control on an unused input? Maybe. Okay. But then they can I, switch to it or the weather cam. They have another way. They've got their own thing. Okay. And they, those three guys have their own understanding of how they okay. can do it. Okay, I trust it. So it's, but it's hooked up. And I can send it wonderful little commands. So it can move and... Cool. You know, send it once, send it... And it could be reconfigured and reset to different IP addresses and boards. And they've got and all the source code and everything. They've got all the code so they can cool. do whatever they want. So it's the ball's in their court. That's progress. All right, that's it. That's excellent. And that's its CCU down there? I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, the CCU from the Sony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So it's, it powers on and it white balances at the same time, yeah. which makes no sense because it's white balancing while it's zooming and refocusing. So... We'll figure it out. There's, there's a... You can re-white balance it, but you have to do it within a certain amount of time. We'll sort it you out. To, you, can do, you can do it in a CCU, I'm sure, because the CCU's got all the... Yeah, it's got the little white right. You just hit it. I mean, it's, right. it's, it's easy. It's just, if we lose power and it comes... Like this morning when I powered it on, it was all blue in auto oh, mode. okay. So it was just shifted off, you know, because it was like trying okay. to use my shirt or some blue spec somewhere to... White balance. I have a similar problem with the um, pivot head camera. It sets its focus to whatever you're looking at when you turn it on, uh -huh. which is great until you go, okay, cool, and now I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, it's all good. All right. But that's that's working, and I'm happy about. It. The only thing that's annoying the crap out of me right now is whoever picked the Ethernet chip for this Arduino. Picked one that hates Cisco, hates them. They won't. Okay. They won't come onto a Cisco switch at all. Okay. They'll sit there and go, I'm on, I'm off, I'm on, I'm off, I'm on, I'm off. Well, I'm that's on. just an Ethernet shield. It's like a thirty dollar thing. We can fix that. Supposedly, it's based on the Ethernet shield that is like most common for. We'll figure it out. Well, the, the figuring it out is just you see the hacked in Dell. Okay. Uh, yeah, it sucks, but. It's, all right. All right. Thank you, sir. Nice. Oh. It's 2016 hours. I'm fried. I'm beyond fried. I'm, I hurt in fun places, and I don't want a hammer drill anymore. Um, it's really, that's, that's the day. Was We did Laser Lab. I'll take you down and show you that. We got a lot of stuff cleaned out. Laser Lab's ready to go, but we can't go any further because I need to set wall anchors for the shelves. This is not quite dry, which I'm really happy about because if it was dry, I just I would have to sand it right now, and I really don't want to do that. But it'll be dry tomorrow, 
I'll sand it tomorrow. And if I sand it tomorrow, I can probably put the, you know, there's primer. I can prime it tomorrow. And then we can paint it on Monday and maybe even start tile, which would be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, have tile done Tuesday. That needs a day to set, grout for Wednesday. And then, then we're off, then we're good. Then we can put the set together. It's done by the end of the week, which is pretty damn awesome. Oh, let's see where we're at with the laser lamp. <laughs> it's dark. It's so dark. Doo -doo -doo. So there's the laser lab, and it looks beautiful. Parts, supplies. This will be the shelving here, which has to be mounted to the wall. But it's it's ready for that. So we can mount the shelving to the wall, hang the rest of the lights, and then start moving in parts and supplies. It's gonna be so cool. Oh god. And then next down here is archives, which will actually be relatively simple, especially compared to the laser lab. The laser lab's a big major hard thing to do, whereas supply is pretty simple. So, all right, 2018 hours, that's today's captain's blog. You guys have fun, see you tomorrow. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.